Hi students, let's continue with the Java stream. So in the previous video, I explained about the console I/O stream, for this file I/O stream, and network I/O streams. Now, let's look at uh, about the three predefined streams that are used in the Java pro programming language. There are three predefined streams that are present in Java programming language. That is in, out, and error. <laughs> so what is in? In is an object reference. It is an object reference of class it is present in input stream class which is present in java dot io dot input stream class so what is an in in is an object reference which is a predefined stream used in java programming language okay so it is an object reference of java dot io dot input stream class present in in so in is present in input stream class then what about out and error out is an output and error is also occurred whenever a program is uh, after compiling only error will be called right okay out and error are also an object references present in java dot io dot print stream class not output stream it is a print stream class see the difference in is present in input stream class and out and error is present in print stream class print stream class okay so the above predefined streams the in out error or static members these are all called as a static members static members which are present in java.lang.system class so all these in out error are present in system class okay system class is a super class okay in the super class input stream is a subclass input stream is a subclass okay and print stream is also a subclass of the system class so input stream the predefined stream is in and print stream out and error still so many are there still so many are there but i am just talking about in out error so all are present in system class the above predefined streams are the static members which are present in java.lang.system class okay so now i let's discuss about the input stream and the print stream so uh, we'll just in an input stream cl class there are so many methods are there but we will just take only a little uh, some methods and try to work out on example one thing students we can't learn all the methods that are present in java okay you can't remember all the things also so based on the user requirement ba based on your requirement you just go to the tool java p tool okay so here suppose i want to uh, see what methods are present in input stream class so go to the command prompt java p is a tool profile java p so there you space java dot io dot input stream so call this class so whenever you click on enter so many methods or will be occurred so based on your usage you can select any method so let me take one method public int read because i want to read the data from keyboard or from file so you have to use int read int read a read which is of integer type written type is a int so i am the method consisting of parameters byte array which is throws io exception suppose if uh, a byte data is not there it is throwing io exception okay so i am just taking the method public int read byte throws io exception so this public int uh, int read method is used to accept the data from keyboard so whenever you are typing the data from keyboard you have to call the method int read a read method you need to be called this method you need to be called so whenever you call this method okay that means you are accepting the data from keyboard okay that is the input stream in the input uh, input stream i am taking the method read now coming to the output stream so for not output stream suppose the another uh, three predefined streams are out and uh, error okay so those are present in print stream so if you want to check how many methods that are present in print stream type on the command prompt java p java dot io dot print stream and enter you can see so many methods so here i have taken some methods 
वन मेथड सम मेथड्स आर रिलेटेड टू प्रिंट एंड सम मेथड्स आर रिलेटेड टू प्रिंट एल एन दीज आर ऑल द प्रिमेटिव डेटा टाइप्स वॉट एवर द ऑर्ग्यूमेंट्स आई हैड मैंशन इन साइड द प्रिंट मेथड दीज ऑर्ग्यूमेंट्स आर ऑल प्री डिफाइंड प्रिमेटिव डेटा टाइप्स बिलियन कैरेक्टर एंड लॉन्ग फ्लो डबल कैर ओके एंड कमिंग टू द स्ट्रिंग एंड ऑब्जेक्ट्स और दिस इन द डेटा टाइप्स ओके so non primitive data types so here uh, this is also print ln here the print the same methods so here the empty without arguments also pass whenever uh, without argument means it prints to the next line means blank space is printed blank space is printed and the cursor will go to the next line okay so these are all the primitive data types and the, these are the other data types string and the objects related to the non primitive data types okay okay so what is the difference between print and println here what is the difference between print and println print means after printing cursor is in same line cursor is in same line then println means print ln after printing cursor is move to next line that is the only difference so print means after printing the cursor is present in the same line print ln means the cursor will be moving to the next line okay so these above whatever the methods here with these methods are used to display data on monitor print stream is going to display data on monitor data on monitor with the help of these methods with the help of these methods the data is going to be display on the monitor okay and here uh, we had seen the java java.io. print stream and java.io. input stream okay the methods and now java.lang. system so whenever you call this method okay so object reference or reference variables the methods is public static final input stream the object reference is in public static final pin print stream the object reference is out and public static final print stream the object reference is error okay so with the help of all these methods we will try to work on the program so that i'll explain in the next video thank you